Jim, Jim Thompson, what are we looking at here? There, there are 40 of them in here. You gave me 20, and who, who is it, Jeff? Is that Jeff. Jeff. Jeff gave me 20. We, oh. These were all planted in November 2013. Okay, November 2013, and 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 it's it's germinating a root now. I, I didn't see that off the root, so it may be on some of this other. Okay, and this is matter. Lee Barnes here. This, okay. this is a mixture of pea moss, vermiculite, and uh, some compost stuff. Right. Okay. And and you got the barriers here because you got a seed, one seed on either side, right? right. And um, the, the red one, the pink ones I got from you, and the blue ah. ones I got from. Yeah, yeah. she he separated. Oh uh, yeah, that is great. Yeah, so you're see. keeping so track got a of the randomized plot here. <laughs> okay, this is great. Pink and blue. Now Jim is very organized, and so you actually have a data set here. So talk about this. Okay. Well, all the blue ones are germinated. But they're all. Been in the they they are all from the 2013 harvest in different places. Yeah. And they've all been in the soil for 18 months. I cut some bottoms out of some of them because. Yeah. You somebody was telling me that it wasn't good to have a bottom in the thing, so I cut a bottom out of there. It's not down that that far. Right. Well, right. well, well. You know what you'll be really valuable for is I've heard from a num a couple people very strongly. They've got a tap root. You got to get uh -huh. them e into their final place mm. really quickly. Once again, um, big, fat, thick, brittle roots, uh, very few root hairs. Uh, oh, really? Very, very yeah. few root hairs. Yeah. So at what height do you suggest that people get them out of the pot, into the ground where, where they're going to stay for the rest of their lives? At how, how tall a specimen should they do that? A good horticulturist could take one this tall out of a pot and make it live. Yeah. Um, I would say uh, when the root reaches the bottom of that pot would be the time to to get them into something else because yeah. that way it's not going to root in permanently and you break anything off when you lift mm -hmm. the pot. So so actually it means they're probably pretty a pretty small expression on the top. Yeah. Not more than about four inches tall or so and then you get them in the ground and you just you know mark it so that you're not mowing it or stepping on it or something. The yeah. ones you gave me were like one of them was like this. Oh, I had no control over remember, how yeah. long they stay in the pot. They were. Uh, it had a bigger pot. It had that size pot. Yeah. It was the number three one we looked at over there yesterday. Okay. Uh, the other was were littler, like this. Okay. They were in a smaller pot. Oh, okay. I, I they had. They weren't root bound. Yeah, I, that's I don't know the trick. It's, I don't yeah. Know it's root bound or Good. I just took sure. them out of the pot and stuck them in the ground. Right. Right. Okay. So uh, they weren't root bound. Okay. I just leave them here until they come up. Maybe. Five or six inches or something? Um, yeah. I do mine, okay. all my seeds in one big bucket uh -huh. that I do the um, the wire over the top. Um, That's kind of like a, a jack. They actually don't do buckets. They do it down in the soil so it, it doesn't get the extra freeze or something. But, um, but, but they don't bother to separate the seeds. They just get them and... and Pull them apart, kind yeah. of, when yeah. they pull them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This thing goes yeah. down on the bottom. the bottom, so it's, it's a good separator. Yeah, yeah. See, I'll never be a seed grower because I don't live anywhere. I live on the road, so all I can do is be a seed distributor. There you go. So, you guys are the experimentalists. I've seen top growth maybe six months after root growth. Oh wow, so maybe next fall. So yeah, fall. yeah. And yeah, that, that's what I've heard uh, too. My stuff, what I've got growing were like two or three year old seeds that oh. I just, you know, they, were, they didn't look like they're any good, but I kept them. Uh -huh. And I was going through them and I, hey, these things are alive. Uh -huh. You know, that's what we tell people is in, in fact, down in Florida when I was at the Apalachicola, uh, the, the warden there who kind of does the toy trees and I was yeah. talking to him about my experience. He said the locals there that get Tory seeds and try to grow them, he says they're used to having to wait three and a half, four and a half years to get them to, get them to go. So I might plant these, could take them out and put them out somewhere in the next spring. So yeah. It's going to be a year before that. Yeah, I got like that much growth the first year in a pot like okay. that. And then 
two or three times at the next year, and now they're ready to really jump. And so next spring they ought to come out of these pots, either in the ground or in bigger pots. Yeah, probably. And once again, top growth of four to six inches, they'll be fine in that pot until that or a little taller. Okay. Okay. And so mm -hmm. I should... Okay, well maybe by fall something will show here. Yeah. Well, and, and also we went to his cabin and he's got a really nice creek with a very steep slope that's got really moist plants on it and everything. And uh, I want to give him some more seeds for you to just free plant in there and mark where you plant them and see how it works. Okay. I'm really interested in free planting. Because okay. if we keep getting a couple thousand seeds, We've got to be able to know what are the best techniques for free planting straight into the forest. Have, have you, now these were like a little, you know, an inch or something. Maybe yeah, a about that far couple there. inches. Rule of thumb for most seeds is like two, two and a half diameter of the seed. Uh -huh. The little tiny seeds right on the surface, bigger seeds yeah. down, inch or two. Basically, I just. Yep. Because <laughs> yeah. this is this is very fine stuff here. Yeah, I don't use vermiculite in my mixes because it breaks down with time. I use perlite to keep it loose and drained. Uh, but vermiculite would be good for a year or two, but longer term it just turns to mush. What about straight soil? Why can't you take a pot straight soil. and put them straight into the soil they're going to go in? Yeah. No okay, problem. yeah. All right, thank you, you two. Today is June 29th. 2015 and this is uh, this is County Barlow. I'm in Ludington, Michigan this summer and because I had access to gosh over a thousand seeds from our 2014 harvest last year I wasn't able to finish distributing them until well into late spring and because I'm stable this place in not traveling around I decided to experiment myself so you can see here, I've got a jar, and what I did is I, uh, I took, oh gosh, four or five cracked seeds, two of which were fully germinated. Here I'll show you a picture of the two that uh, had roots coming out, not fully germinated, but you'd only see them below the soil. And I decided to put them in this jar near the edge so I could try to watch how their roots grew through the summer. I also put a few other cracked seeds in there because when they crack, that means they're getting ready to germinate. Um, so anyway, the first picture here of the two seeds with a penny there for scale. So May 23rd was when I put both of those two seeds that you can see the one white root coming out of each with the penny. I put them both in this jar right along the edge on opposite sides. One uh, right near that label there. What I discovered was that on June 16th I you know dug up the one that I could see and it did have a green area on it but what I realized is that it was probably trying the green part uh, what would be the stem was trying to reach the light and the light was along the edge of the jar not the top. So it was really kind of a, a screwy situation there. So what I did, put it back in where I found it, and I wrapped a towel around the jar and set it back out on the porch area. So that was June 16th I did that. And today is June 29th. And take a look at what I found. Now right here, this one hasn't emerged yet. This is the one that I had taken that picture of. But look what's coming out through the top. On the exact opposite side of the jar, I had planted that other cracked one there. Let's take a look down there. And this is the first day I've noticed it. I mean, I watered this area, oh gosh, I don't know, five days ago or so, and I didn't see it then. But look what happens. Just this morning I noticed this. Look what happened. Wow. So that's it. Look at there. You can see how far it's coming up from the edge of the glass there. And I'm going to pause here. I'm going to dig out each of them, uh, carefully put them back in after I'm done. And I'm going to take a look at if the top stem comes out that quickly, 
what is the root looking like? So here I go. Here are the four seeds I dug out. The two on the left, they both have the same original cracks in them, signify they were thinking about germinating, um, but nothing has come out. Now, the one on the top right there, it looks pretty much the same as when I put it in before. That is, there's a bit of a root and a bit of a green area, but it doesn't even look as vibrant as it did back June 16th, 13 days ago. So I've no idea about it, but look at the one at the bottom. Look at that thing just shot up just in the last week. And what I find surprising is it put, has put down only a small root and it's spending its time heading up. Uh, so my hypothesis about what seeds do has been proved wrong. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll put, spend six weeks putting down a taproot. They might go up right away. I don't know what the, the difference is, whether it's because it's germinating during the summer, because the light conditions are so good at the top. I don't know what it is, but uh, this is an experiment, and this is another, this is another learning. So I will put them back into the jar, wrap a towel around the outside again of it, I'll put it back where it's getting diffuse, only diffuse sunlight coming through the top. It's underneath a full porch, but there's light coming in from all sides. Okay, I've just restored the two seeds. Here you can see you can see the one that's uh, I always keep by the tag there that hasn't yet come above the surface, the one that seems to be doing nothing. Uh, and right across there, you can see the one. I reburied it on the opposite side there. I've also added some leaves from the compost bin. I'll get those moist because I noticed quite a few um, roundworms, nematodes, in the soil. This is just soil I had gotten out of the compost bin. Uh, and I want to make sure they have got plenty to eat so they don't have to start eating terrea root. But we'll see how this goes.